Now for this one we're looking for the bond angles and for that we're going to have to draw the Lewis structure. We're also going to have to figure out what the shape is as well because that will influence the bond angles too. So let's go ahead and do that first. We'll get the Lewis structure. So the number of valence electrons will be 8 plus 2 times 7. Xe is in group 8, chlorine is in group 7. 8 plus 14 is 22. That's 22 valence electrons. I will fix up the chlorines first and bond them to the Xe. And then I will put six electrons around each of the chlorines here to give them a total of eight each. And what I've done so far is I've used a total of 16, but I need to use 22. That means there are going to be six electrons left over, which means three pairs on the Xe. So that's what XeCl2 should look like. Now I need to figure out what the shape of this is, so I'll go to the molecular geometry chart. Now I'll look for the one that has two atoms and then three lone pairs. And you'll see it's this one here. It's called linear. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and draw that the way that this is drawn here. So it's going to be linear, three lone pairs and then two atoms attached. And you'll see that matches what we've got over here. So I will go ahead and redraw that. I'm just basically copying what I'm seeing on that diagram there. There's my lone pairs and there's the chlorines here. I won't bother putting the things on the chlorines. But that's what it looks like. So the bond angle there would be fairly simple. It would just be 180 degrees. Now keep in mind, whoops, keep in mind that you can't get an angle between here and the lone pair because that's not a bond angle. You can only get angles between bonds. So don't bother doing anything like that. Just focus on the angles between bonds here. A little guidance here. Let's say, let's pretend that it was more something like this. Not that it would be, but let's say it was. Then the bond angles here would be, that would be 90. That would be 180 there. degrees and then this here would be in the plane it'd be 120 degrees and you should watch my videos if you want more guidance on figuring out bond angles